What is up my peeps? Joshua Smith at GSD Mode Studios with another weekly real estate tip. So today I'm here to talk to you about how to be extremely effective with your follow-up. So with this, this is, you got leads, right? So we got marketing and then we have uh, uh, sales and closing, right? So marketing is all the shit that you're doing to get people to become a lead, right? Then once they become a lead, that then is where your closing and sales kicks in. And that's where that process takes over. So I'm here to talk to you today about seven extremely effective, seven steps to having an extremely effective follow-up process. So then that way you can set more appointments, close more deals. And this is extremely powerful, extremely important, and will be a game changer for you if you implement what you're going to learn during this weekly real estate tip. What is up my peeps? Joshua Smith here at GSD Mode Studios where every week I share new top real estate agent and entrepreneur interviews, along with tips that I'm personally doing inside my business that allow me to become one of the top real estate agents and team leaders on the planet. Check us out at gsdmode.com where you can see more free, great content, tips, interviews, resources, trainings, and more that will help you massively grow your real estate business. Also, make sure to check out my personal mentorship coaching program, at 90daymastery.com. This is for those of you wanting to create a truly successful real estate business that pays you the money you want as well as gives you the time and freedom to live a life worth living. This is hands down the best, most effective, and most affordable real estate coaching program that exists out there. Thank you so much for all of your support. Now, let's dive on in to today's content. All right, so again, we are here to talk about the seven effective steps to kicking ass and increasing your overall conversion rates with your follow-up uh, 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 processes, right? So I hear so many, I think, I think as real estate agents, not I hear, I hear so many real estate agents, and I think that we all know and understand the importance of follow-up. I mean, we, we hear statements like, and we all know them to be true, um, but all oh, the fortune is in the follow-up. But here is where the break comes. And this is the feedback I get from so many real estate agents. Like, look, man, I know I should be following up. I just don't know exactly what to do. Or, or what do I even say? Or, or, or you know, uh, how often should I do it? Or, man, I, like, I got I to gotta follow up with all these leads. But fuck, dude, I don't have five hours a day to follow up. I got to go service my clients. Right? So if you implement these, I don't care how, you could be generating 1,000 new leads a month. This should not take more than two hours ever a day, even if you're generating massive amounts of of uh, leads inside your business. Um, but you gotta make sure that this has gotta be an intentional path, an intentional plan. It's gotta be systematic, it's gotta be methodical, right? So I'm gonna walk you through the seven steps here. Now the first thing, and I'm gonna kinda jump around here a little bit, because here's all seven, um, but the first thing I wanna talk about is the importance of tracking. Look, the only way to be, be effective with growing a real estate business, period, is through tracking, but especially when it comes to your follow-up. Because look, how, how do you know uh, uh, what lead sources are good lead sources? Now, a lot of people are focused on, oh, what's my cost per lead? How, how, how much am I spending? How many leads uh, am I getting? That is really a, a, a poor statistic to make decisions off of. I'm not saying that it's not an important one to know and understand. I need to know what my cost per lead is. But more importantly, I need to know, well, how, hey, how many leads does it take to, to convert into a closing? Um, so I'm looking at the, my cost per acquisition. That, that is extremely important. My cost per lead is not really irrelevant. It's all about what my cost per acquisition is, which is well, how much should I total spend uh, to go out there and, and gain a commission check. But then I'm also needing to factor in, like, what is my effort? What is my time? My time, your time, is more important than money. Time isn't money. Time is much more precious than money. We can make more money. We can't make more time. Right? So how much total effort and time goes into then converting this lead source? All these things that we have, you know, we have limited, re we have limited resources of, of money, you know, right? We don't have, we're not uh, Coca-Cola. Like, we don't have billions of dollars just to go out, and go out there and waste annually on, on lead generation. Um, uh, we have limited amounts of time. Let me know to focus. Uh, so this becomes really important. So tracking allows you to do that. So what I want you to do is make sure and just set up a, 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 a Google Sheets, you know, Excel on Google. This is what I do. Uh, uh, go in there. It's all free to do. But I, I track, okay, hey, per lead source, how many leads am I getting per my closings? But then also I'm going to go in there and track, okay, how many calls do I have to make? How many conversations? How many appointments set? 
uh, uh, clients taken and then closings. So all the way through the funnel. So then I know what my path per deal is. And I recommend that you do this per lead source. It becomes really, really powerful when you can sit there and have this data per, per source. All right. So we got to make sure our tracking is set up. Again, you can't be committed to your business or, or create a successful business without tracking. Then the second thing that you need, so these are more steps of having in place and, and operating out of daily, um, uh, these first two, is a CRM. Like to do all the, everything I'm gonna tell you to do right now, you have to have a, a, a CRM that helps you do all of these things. And you gotta spend the time to master it. You gotta spend the time to set it up correctly. Um, if you have your CRM set up correctly, when you walk into your office each and every day, all you should have to do is complete your task list and that's you winning. If you complete your task list, uh, task list every day, you are winning, right? Um, inside your real estate business. So get a CRM, an effective CRM. Don't skimp it. Don't go with the $15 a month bullshit piece of crap CRM out there. That's not gonna help you grow your business. Uh, uh, there's nothing more important in your business than investing in the right systems and eventually as you continue to grow and scale, investing in the right people. So track your numbers, get a CRM. If you don't know what CRM to use, I utilize and use Perfect Storm. Highly recommend it. It's badass. Most of the stuff I'm going to share with you today is already pre-set up in there. So it makes it really easy um, and it's very affordable. So you can learn more about that at perfectstormnow.com. All right. So then from there, here is my path and plan that every lead goes on regardless of the lead source. Everybody goes on this. That is a lead. Not talking past clients, sphere of influence. We're talking a lead. A lead meaning somebody have exchanged something of value for in exchange for their contact information and they may buy or sell real estate from me. So I'm going to put everybody on an automated email and text drip follow-up plan that goes out for a thousand days. Right, so it's going to be a thousand days long, and this is just happening without me doing it. It's it's emailing them, it's texting them. Um, now, I personally pre-write and write all my own content that I'm sending out. Right now, most agents will just, you know, let's just say you're using Converge or Boomtown, KV Core, whatever, just adopt what's in there. You know, right? Well, you got to understand that most of these tech companies, you know, obviously the technology is built by a software engineer, computer programmers. They haven't sold real estate. Right? They don't know what the consumer wants in an email. They don't know with what engages. So I make sure to write all my own content. Like I know what people want. I know what my ideal client wants. I know what, what's going to get them to respond. So I, I personally set all these up myself, write this, but then once it's done, boom, it's, it's just automated. It's rocking and rolling. All right, so everybody's going to go on that regardless of the lead source. Now, if I'm doing an online lead source, something that's not listed up here, um, and the reason I didn't want to list it up here is just because I wanted to incorporate regardless of the lead source the things that you need to be doing. Uh, but if it's an inbound lead source, let's just say an online lead that comes in, um, they're going to get autoresponder email, autoresponder text in, in addition to this, right? So my thousand day email drip text plan. All right. So then from there, I'm going to set everybody up on property daily alerts. So, and, and some people are like, well, dude, that would work for buyers, but what about sellers? So if it's a buyer, um, yeah, obviously whatever they're, whatever they're looking for or, or looking on my site, I'm going to set them up. So even if, if you know, it's really generic, even if I don't know what they're looking for, I'm still going to set it up with something generic until I find out more details. But everybody's going to go on a daily property alert search site, which you all know what that is, right? They automatically get an email every day of homes that, that potentially meet their criteria. Now, if it's a seller, I reverse it, right? So with the seller though, um, look, they own a home. So what I'm going to do is instead of sending people CMAs all the time or, or, or you know, these CRM systems out there, like I hate these systems that send auto-generated CMAs, right? Because that ends up shooting you in the foot. Those are really just Zillow Zestimates. So all these agents that bitch and moan about how unaccurate Zillow is, well, then they're sending their, their clients the same shit through these auto-created CMAs, these instant CMA you know, uh, uh, systems out there. I don't want to do that, but I can, I can still be effective uh, 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 without having to do all the work. I want to automate as much of this as possible. So I set them up on really just a reverse daily property search. So I know what their house address is, right? Um, so I'm going to set them up on a search that's, that's apples to apples of their property. So any home that's similar to their home in the area that comes on active, that goes pending, has a price adjustment that sells is going to be sent to them. So they're able to keep a very tight pulse on what homes very similar to theirs in their area are listing and selling for in their area. So I'm going to have them on that. Then I do my mass emails. So this is everybody in my database. So I might have, let's just say 75,000 people or maybe 10,000 people or 5,000 people or maybe 300, doesn't matter the size. I'm going to mass email everybody in there. So it only takes about two minutes, three minutes to mass email all these thousands of people in your database. Um, but I do every Monday, I do a Monday motivation message. I blast out to everybody. 
Every holiday, I do a, a holiday message. And then once a month, I do a monthly video market update that gets blasted out to everybody. So everybody is getting at least five of these mass emails every single month in addition to what we just talked about. All right, so then from there, the calls and text videos. This is really important. So many agents today want to automate the process completely. They don't want to do their calls. And I get it, calls are a pain in the ass. They don't need to be, but they are the typical way that, that we think of and that we're taught in this business. Look. I, but you got to do the calls. Any high ticket item, which real estate is the highest ticket item, it takes the phone calls. I, I'm, I'm an automation freak, system process freak. Like I've tried to automate this as much as anybody. Never found an effective way to automate it. If you want to convert the highest level, like you got to do the calls. But here's the cool thing, right? So when I'm doing the calls, number one, I set my mindset the right way. I never think of trying to sell them anything. I never, I'm never looking at commissions or trying to close them. I'm just going this from, hey, man, I'm, I'm here to serve and support as many people on the highest level I possibly can. Today. So I'm just here to serve them. Yeah, right? And I, I'm, I'm very intentional with the scripts that I use and, and, and the tone of my voice and the things that I do. Like I let everybody know when I first call them when they first opt in, hey, this isn't a sales call. This is just a courtesy call. Check in, see how the website's working, see if you have any questions, anything I do to serve and support you. And you know, just so you know, inside our, our organization, we have very strict, absolute no, absolute no pressure policy. So you never be pushed, pressured, or, or you know, pushed through anything that you don't want to do. Again, with very strict, absolute no pressure policy. So you never have to worry about that. Like I hate being, uh, 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 you know, high pressured as much as anybody. I hate that. So I don't believe in doing business the way I don't want business done to me. So you never have to worry about it. So if you ever see an email come through or my phone show up on a caller ID, just so you know, this is just a courtesy check-in call just to see how you're doing. See if there's anything that I can be a resource on or, or serve and support you on. It's not about trying to get you uh, to utilize my services or to, to sell you anything. So you never have to worry about that. Yeah, right? Um, but I'm always looking for ways to, to serve them, to support them, whatever it may be, right? It's not, not just about real estate. And I let them know that. Look, I'm here to be their resource. So we know all these other vendors. And I let people know that of maybe it's a seller and like, oh, I'm not looking to sell for five years. Or I get a lead on the phone like, oh, I just bought a house. Oh, congrats. Tell me, what'd you get? Where most real estate agents are like, fuck, lead in my system, bought a house from somebody else. God damn it. They get all pissed. Like, I get excited. You know, right? They didn't use me, obviously, but I'm like, oh, hey, congrats. Like, I'm trying to adopt them now as a past client. Hey, congrats. Like, what'd you get? Tell me about it, right? Well, you know, you got any plans for like anything that you're doing to update the property? And, and like, hey, just so you know, I'm not here to just be your realtor, I'm here to be your resource. So if you need anything, you know, right? If you need a, a good insurance agent, if you need a good pool company, landscaper, a handyman, if you're looking to ever do any remodels, paint, like whatever it is, like I know all the best people to utilize in the area, be happy to make sure that you get uh, uh, set up with somebody um, uh, that doesn't take advantage of it, does a great job um, and uh, is affordable all at the same time. You know, right? So, and then I'm just taking good notes. A good CRM is gonna have a great notation area that's easy to flow, easy to read, quick to add notes. Right, so maybe I talked to them on the phone this time. And they're like, "Hey, you know, I can tell they're stressed out." You know, right? They're like, they're kind of giving me some attitude. Like, "Hey, man, I'm like you, all right?" It's like you're maybe having a bad day. Is everything okay? They're like, you know, tell me about it. And find out like something's going on at work. Right, that next conversation I have with them, taking those notes. Hey, man, you know, last time we talked, I know that you're really stressed with work. This problem was going on. Like, how's that going, man? Did you, did you, did you figure out a way to solve it? Like, look, I'm I'm just here to. to impact human beings any way I possibly can. I'm not trying to sell them a bunch of shit. I'm just trying to help other human beings in any way I can because the real estate game is to get people to know you like you trust you, be aware of what you do for a living, fall frequently, and your business continues to grow. That's it. So if I can connect with them and improve their life in any way, form, or fashion, and it can have nothing to do with real estate, right? Um, and that's why, you know, like when you're shooting out videos and content information, make it about anything that you're passionate about, that your hobby, you know, hobby is with that you can impact others on. It doesn't have to be about real estate. You know, right? Um, but if you do that, if and when you keep consistently following up and get them thinking of you when they're thinking of buying or selling, uh, when they buy and sell, you have a great chance of getting their business. So I do the phone calls. Now, most people today are in a busy world. They're not picking up their phones. It's lowest it's ever been. You know, right? You're lucky. Like back in the day, it's like, oh, I get 10, 15% uh, uh, answer ratios. Say you're lucky to get five, right? So, okay, most of the calls I'm getting, I'm not getting them on the phone. I leave a voicemail though hang up and then I shoot a personalized video text. So with this fall protocol, you guys, I don't use a dialer, right? Uh, um, I've never personally used a dialer. I have dialers, I have multiple dialers that we utilize for my real estate team just because I have some of my agents on the team, some of my teammates that like circle prospecting or, or, or you know, calling expires, whatever, that want to power, have a power dialer. But for me, I've never used them. Never even, even though I have paid for three Mojo accounts, I've never fucking logged in one time. Yeah, right, because to do my fall protocol, like I need to be studying my notes, updating my notes, you know, like a dialer doesn't work. Plus, call them, leave a voicemail, 
do a personalized video text message, right? So this you're gonna need an iPhone for. Unfortunately, a lot of the other uh, pl phone platforms that I'm aware of out there are only allow for like 15 second videos. iPhone shit, you can do well over a minute video and send out to anybody else out there. But on a text video, I take the time to make it personalized. Yeah, right? Hey, Joe, what's happening, man? Joshua Smith here. Yeah, right? Like, I, I make sure it's personalized. Now, with the text videos, personalized text videos, just so you guys know with these, I don't set a lot of appointments through the video. Most of the appointments, almost all of them, are going to be set through the calls. But what happens is after they're, they're seeing all of this stuff, plus getting the text videos, by the time I finally get them on the phone, we start having multiple conversations, they're, they're, they're warm. Like, they know me. They can visualize my face. They've already, like, the next best thing from being face-to-face -face is video. So personalize it, make it about them, you know, right? Especially, like, I love doing a lot of open houses. So what I mean about my own house, I'm always trying to find, like, hey, what, what are you going to, doing this weekend? Maybe I find out they're taking their family, their kids to their first Cardinals game, right? So I'm following up two days later. I'm like, hey, you know, hey, 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 Joe and Sarah Joshua Smith, who we met this weekend at one two, the open house at 123 West Main Street. Hey, just wanted to follow up with you and check in and see how that Cardinals game went. I'm just excited to hear about how'd your kids like it? How'd you like, how'd you like the new stadium? Right? Like, I'm not trying to make this about real estate. Now, of course, when I get them on the call, like, we're, we're going to talk about real estate, right? But I'm trying to do anything I can to develop that connection and make myself stand out. And in my real estate market, we're the most saturated real estate market per capita on the planet. Over 40,000 agents in just my county. Right? So I got a bazillion other motherfuckers trying to follow up with these same leads and, and whatever. I got to stand out. I'm going to stand out back uh, uh, by, by having that human connection. It all boils down to Dale Carnegie's amazing book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, right? So I'm doing those calls, video text messages. Common thing I hear from agents though that I, I've taught this strategy to though is they're like, oh dude, it just takes too long, right? It's too time consuming. So then they go use some dumb thing like bomb bomb or you know who's some other dumb tool that that they try to automate it but they lose the personalization to save some time right but again it's not just the, you can't think of just the time up front it's it's a total time involved to a conversion of that lead per lead source right so you got you got to be a little bit more intelligent i think beyond this and this is why your tracking becomes so important now the last component that i do with this right is Anybody that's a lead in my system, I'm now running targeted Facebook book ads just to them. So this is gonna be like video testimonials from past clients, right? Um, video market update reports, just list of just sold, any, any other relevant content that you're sending to them. And this is pennies on a dollar because this is a small uh, audience size and you know, you're, with the frequency, I do reach ads on these. So I'm you know, only hitting them like two to three times a week uh, uh, with these, but I make sure I'm peppering them. So they're getting my emails, even though most of my emails do, what are they doing? hitting the check bar box delete. But guess what they see? My emails, everything set up is Joshua Smith, comma, realtor. So they're seeing Joshua Smith, comma, realtor, delete. Joshua Smith, comma, realtor, delete. Joshua, right? Um, they're getting the mass emails, right? Getting phone calls, text videos, right? They're seeing my Facebook ads, right? Like I'm just, I'm just ingraining myself in their mind. Um, so then when I get them on the phone, they recognize me, they know who I am. I don't wanna, it, it, it's, it's a lot of resistance and very difficult to convert cold leads, right? It's, it's like with my mastery bootcamp coaching program, that a lot of you that are watching this have been through. Hands down, by far the best coaching platform that exists in the industry, most effective, most affordable, hands down, right? We had over 4,000 agents come through the program and just seen the massive results that people create coming through that experience, coming through that program, right? Um, but uh, uh, when I get a call, let's just say, and I don't do the calls anymore, I've got a, a, a people that do the, the discovery calls for me, but when I used to take those calls or when they're doing them, if it was somebody that gets on that call that's like, oh yeah, I, you know, I've never heard of Josh before, just found the pro, uh, program on Google, want to learn more about it, that's a much harder sell than somebody that's like, oh yeah, no, I've been watching Josh on YouTube and seen his, you know, been on a couple of his webinars that I found on Facebook and been engaged with his content. Like they're a fan, you know, right? And then if I ever get him on the phone, they're like, holy shit, I never expected I'd be talking to you. You know, it's like an easy conversion. It's easy close. Yeah, right? Um, that's what we want to do here with our buyers and sellers. So this is the seven step follow up plan. Take the time though to set it up, do it, do it right. Um, it, this becomes critical. So I've shared all the tools. You might have to rewatch this again, pause it, you know, whatever go through as you're setting this up, but that's why we upload these on uh, gsdmo.com so you can do that and you can keep coming back referencing. These are free, no opt-ins to watch, all that great shit. So if you want to see more great real estate tips just like this video, check us out at gsdmode.com where you can see more real estate tips, my leveling up series, which is all about mindset and operating at your peak performance state, um, uh, top real estate professional interviews, tons of tools, resources, free training, a ton of shit on there, all free to help you massively grow your real estate business. So check us out, gsdmode.com. Thank you so much for watching and listening. We'll see you next time. Peace.